Welcome to our talk on enhancing the effectiveness of crowdsourced design feedback. I'm Fritz and I'll tell you about our simple yet effective twist on traditional design feedback for improving design revisions. In graphic design, feedback is a vital part of the iterative design process. It can help us evaluate our work, uncover problems, and promote new ideas for improvement. For instance, let's say we designed the flyer for a rowing event. Some feedback might point out that the photo is leaving too little room for the text below. As a consequence, we might choose to increase the font size to improve the readability. However, the effectiveness of feedback can vary. For example, someone else might tell us that they really like our theme, which is great to know, but does not uh, offer much help for improving our flyer. And in general, we first have to be able to collect high quality feedback ideally from multiple people. Crowdsourcing is a promising approach to collect large amounts of feedback quickly. And when structured appropriately, crowdsourced feedback can be of good quality. However, in order for crowdsourced feedback to be effective, it needs to promote valuable reflection and it needs to have appropriate sentiment to be acceptable. And while this might sound trivial, it turns out that there's a tension between the acceptability of feedback and its productive value, which is related to the sentiment. So on the one side, positive feedback is more accepted than negative feedback as perceived usefulness ratings show. However, on the other side, scientists found that in the long term, positive feedback leads to less improvement through design iterations and thus has less productive value. And so this brings us to our idea. Instead of directly showing a feedback statement, we first show an open-ended question targeting the same critique point. So for instance, given this flyer here, we might ask, what was the reasoning behind the font choices and text placement? The goal of the question is to promote reflection, which was shown to be as effective as traditional feedback statements that we present subsequent to the question. Also note that the question contains more neutral sentiment than the related statement. Here, the original statement says, multiple fonts and strange text placement make the flyer look unprofessional and awkward to read, which is rather negative. Building on prior work, we hypothesized that ordering the feedback from neutral questions to potentially negative or positive statements can help mitigate unwanted effects of sentiment. Now, through our first user study, we found that 85% of all crowdsourced feedback questions were indeed open-ended. And moreover, we were able to confirm that questions truly contained significantly less sentiment than statements. So knowing that our approach works methodologically, our main research question is, can feedback in the form of questions, followed by their related statements, lead to better design revisions than question or statement-based feedback alone? To answer this question, we conducted a second study to first of all determine if preceding questions can balance the acceptance of subsequent statements. And most importantly, to shed light on the overall effectiveness of our method on the quality of design revisions. To this end, we asked 36 non-expert designers to create and revise a flyer. We split the designers into three groups, each receiving different type of feedback statements only, questions only, or a combination of both. The participants then rated the feedback by its thought-provokingness, usefulness, and tone before they revised their designs. And finally, a jury of eight design experts rated the participants' design revision quality. Here are the participants' feedback ratings. Unfortunately, we did not find any clear indication that the feedback's acceptability differed. In particular, the usefulness rating did not change significantly between the three feedback types. However, looking at the improvement ratings of the revised designs, where higher values are better, we found that our method of combining feedback questions and statements led to significantly better design revisions compared to feedback in the form of statements or questions alone. And so given these results, we believe that our method is a useful complement to existing design feedback systems. Moreover, we think that question-enhanced feedback can be beneficial for other types of creative work. For more details and a thorough discussion, please take a look at our paper. Thank you.